Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have a new quadcopter frame from JetRC or GetRC, whatever the way you like to call it. Um, this is called the Elegant. Now this is a 5 inch quadcopter with 243 millimeter wheelbase. So it's a 5 inch obviously here. Now when you first take a look at it you might say, oh no, Jeb just cloned Armaton. Now I don't really see you know anything to, to really cloned except the protruding aluminum. Even the way they executed the aluminum way here for the camera is completely different i mean it does have kind of the same form factor but that's about it i mean here you have a you know your arms are up on the upper plate here on the armaton they're on the bottom plate uh, and you have this little weird nice thing here on the side and they give you some little extra so I, I really don't think this is a clone uh maybe an inspired frame i would say but you know everyone has their own opinion i would love to hear yours down in the comment section feel free to say whatever you like all right, so let's get into this. Let's actually check some of the things that it comes with here. Now they do provide us with a PDB rated up to a 4S, so it's a 3 to a 4S PDB here. So that's very nice of them. It's well known that JetRC provides PDBs usually with most of their frames. So that's something nice to see as always. So let's put this guy to the side now. Um, it, is, it does have a five and a 12 volt regular on the PDB. Here they actually gave us something pretty nice. Alright guys, so even JevRC even actually provided us with a buzzer and an LED. This is pretty cool actually. And what they did is instead of just soldering the wires onto this little board right here, as you can see here, they provided us with a silicone connector, JST connector. You stick it through and then you put it on your PDB or flight controller or whatever it's going to be. And um, it should be good to go. So that's pretty awesome. And as you can see here, we have these little two cutouts right there. And those are actually meant to slide on this part right here. So if you take a look at these two little metal aluminum standoffs here, you see this, there's a little hole right there. So hopefully this goes into focus here and you can see that hole. And there's also another hole on the side. So before putting in this second standoff here, you would want to stick that LED right there and you should be good to go. So it's actually, it's, it's very nice actually, I must say. Um, it's, it's very well thought out and it's something to be expected from uh, Jeb RC or Geb RC, whatever you want to call them. And they also provide you with some antennas here. However, this was just one long piece. I cut it in half and it's still pretty long. So yeah, when, when I got it, I was like, oh, why did I just get one? I got two covers. And then I was just like, oh, it's very long. So, you know, just cut it in half and then you get two of these uh, antenna protector kind of thingies going on here. And they also give you this anti-slide double-sided tape here to protect your batteries and uh, to kind of keep them in place here, which is very good to see. I really like this. And uh, they usually do this with the most of their frames. And they give you two nice straps, very good quality, one for your GoPro and one for your battery. So that's a huge plus here. So as you can see here, the frames are up top. I mean, the arms here are up top here. And I don't know how this is going to fly. And you can see these are engraved down. They do give you nylon uh, screws here that actually go into this engravings. And uh, basically your stack is going to be held up upside down here. So that's pretty interesting. That's pretty crazy at the same time. And as you can see, it's a 30.5 by 30.5 spacing hole size right here. for So you can stick just, you know, your regular old PDB flight controllers. And uh, this side plate, you don't even have to add it. I don't even think it adds anything. It's only one millimeter. And it's just connected with two screws really. So you could really remove this if you don't like this. Uh, however, I just choose to keep it right now just to see how it's going to look and have the overall look here. Now, let's just say you hated the arms to be on top with the battery. Actually, it's very simple to just switch it over and have the arms be on the bottom. And then that would be basically kind of like the Armaton Chameleon. So if you want to do that, you can go ahead and do that. But that's, you know, that's up to you. And now actually, I might do that. I want to see how it flies like this. And I'm going to flip it upside down and then see how it's going to go. So that's pretty cool. So I think I think it should work. In theory, it should work just absolutely fine. The spacing on the aluminum is almost identical here. And um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, it's pretty much identical. As you can see that part that just goes down right there. So yeah, we'll test that out and see how it works out for us. Hopefully it'll work out good. And um, camera protection, it seems like you're going to have some pretty nice camera protection. The holes for the camera here are pretty recessed inside. So the lens should be very well protected. And um, it should be overall very good here. Let's go ahead and get some of the dimensions now. All right, so basically it's just two plates really. The side plate there was only one millimeter. So take that into consideration. Now we're just gonna go ahead and check the upper plate here. The upper plate is four millimeter. So you do have a complete four millimeter upper plate. It's actually pretty sturdy for one, for just being one plate. Um, this is very good actually. So bend testing is actually passing pretty well. That's very good actually. Let's go ahead and check the bottom plate here. It's 
two millimeters. So two millimeter, four millimeter, and then these side plates are one millimeter. And the aluminum seems very good. I didn't end up stripping it, so I think they're using good aluminum. And I don't think they've actually stated what kind of aluminum they're using. So in that perspective, I really can't answer. But it seemed like it's pretty good aluminum, not the, you know, butter aluminum. So it's not stripping very easy. And I haven't had it stripped just yet. I kind of tightened it down pretty hard. And so far, so good. So overall, I mean, this looks like a nice frame. I really can't say much until we actually build it and take it out for a flight. So let's go ahead and actually get its weight here. So, right. 123 grams. I wasn't really expecting this to be a light one, but anything below 130 on these sized frames uh, for freestyle, I always tend to like because they, they, they do perform still pretty good. I think anything above 130 grams is really pushing it. So 100 to see 120 something grams for this is pretty good. Um, and that's all I really got to say right now. I really have nothing else to say until we actually build it and take it out for a flight. And if, you, if you've been watching my channel, we have set up the uh, frame testing setup, which is the internals and um, of another quad, which will be just sliding over to this guy, taking him out and testing him and see how he does. And well, that's concluded for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.